Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with the R Holistic Hiller, aka Sonia B. I am back with another prophetic message. I uh, just want to say for those of you who are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. And for those of you who are returning back, I want to say welcome back as well. Uh, for those of you who do not know, I'm an intuitive, clairvoyant, Hayoka empath who receives divine, divine prophetic messages. Um, anyway, so keep in mind also that these energies, keep in mind that these energies could be happening right now at this present moment, as well as, you know, two, three weeks end of this week or you know a few weeks from now you know it's going to happen differently for everybody in different regions or whatever so keep that in mind as well too and also keep in mind too that if you were divinely guided to my channel obviously there's a message that's here for you whether it is meant for you or whether it is meant for someone who is in your uh immediate environment uh, keep that in mind as well, too. And keep in mind, too, that if a message is not resonating at this particular moment, just also keep in mind that it does not mean that it will not resonate in the near future. So keep that in mind as well, too. Anyway, with that being said, let's get straight into the prophetic messages. And uh, the first message that I received was um, it came through me as if it was happening to me. So for those of you who do not know, sometimes the story comes through, you know, as if it's happening to me. So I got it to where the message that I receive is if someone had, um, someone, someone had fixed some food and they fixed some food and it was like in a styrofoam type container, you know, the, with the lids on it, uh, the, the big square ones. So somebody had fixed some food and obviously they was around someone. I got the feeling like they fixed the food or either they bought some food. I really felt like they fixed some food, but I'm also hearing too that they could have bought some food. So anyway, someone was curious within their immediate environment who somebody who was um, close to them in some sort of way. I can't really tell you exactly how close they were to them, um, but I just felt like it was somebody that was kind of close to them. Um, somebody that was close to them but i say all that to say i mean close to them to the point of sharing their food with them i can't necessarily remember well me i'm being the german folk that i am you know i'm thinking to myself i can't i don't even know if they had a second fork or a second spoon that they shared it with but i do remember that them sharing their food it wasn't really that specific in a dream just to let you know because that's something that i would have been curious about I'm like i don't know you, you ain't eating off my fork and spoon but anyway i'm like here here's a spoon but uh, let me scoop some out for you. <laughs> but anyway, um, so with that being said, um, the individual is just a little curious with what, uh, what she was. And keep in mind, what I'm hearing is it can work both ways, too. It could be a male or it could be a female uh, archetype. So somebody's going to be kind of curious to if you're watching or if not, it could be happening to you or you're the one that it's uh, is kind of curious about the food. So I saw that um, someone was kind of curious about what their... Um, someone that they was close to was eating and it was really curious to the point that it, it kind of intrigued them in a sense like bought them in like hmm like I'm a little curious because I got the feeling like they had never eaten that type of food before so but with all that being said um they just kept looking at it but I did see it was like a dish that had some sort of cherry tomatoes in it and um not only that but at some point in time they just kept looking at it so obviously the individual was like well you know you want to try it so they let them try it and as they let them try it they thought it was like it really it was almost like you know how the italian people do it was almost like it sparked something in them that it almost like changed their mindset to with trying something new is what i'm hearing like um because it was something out of outside of what they're normally used to eating so for them to try it it was like mm, you know you just open me up to what i'm hearing is you just open me up to something new so she let them she let him try it again take it how it resonates it can go both ways or he could have let her try it um she let him try it and then he was really impressed by the taste of what he was what he was tasting and again it it altered something in him and it it changed it, it almost like it changed his mindset is what i'm hearing so it gave him a different perspective on things is what i'm hearing as well too like he had almost like a change of mind in regards to uh and take this how it resonates because it could be coming in a, a different form rather than just food but 
somehow somebody's gonna have like a different mindset in regards to a situation you know remember we're all kind of going through something but our scenarios may be a little different so keep that in mind as well too but anyway so he tried it and he tried it that he liked it so much he just kept kind of complimenting oh that like like that is really good like he was just really excited like that is really good and it was almost like it came in a form of like three different times to the point the last time he said it he basically ended up giving her a kiss on the cheek to the point that that's how good it was he was like almost like thank you for introducing me to something new so he gave her a kiss on the cheek and then his kiss was so excited and it was a kiss with endearment is what i'm hearing to the point that he kissed her here you know how somebody kisses you on your cheek to the point that it starts here 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 and then it ends up on the lip so that's what he did and that was all for that message. So uh, keep that in mind as well, too. So if you are someone who do not want people kissing you on the mouth because, you know, you're not sure where their mouth been, that's just me or whatever the case may be. Uh, just be mindful of that, too. Just be, you know, I'm not telling you to be on guard, but, you know, in the event of someone, you know, kissing you on your cheek, just make sure I guess they stand on your cheek or whatever as a heads up a warning anyway so the next message that i received this has something to do with like a grocery store but it came in a form as if it was happening like at costco's so keep that in mind as well too so in costco's i, I noticed when i went in there it was like really really empty and then i was like really shocked and really surprised i'm like costco's is empty but i noticed that at the self-checkout line because as if it was as if if you guys go into costco's um it was as if like I walked into the side where you go and get your picture ID and the side of the restaurant was on where you collect the boxes, you know, where you get the boxes at. And it was as if I was on that side and not so much the other side of the register because the way I was seeing it was there was a lady who was at the self-checkout and she liked she was needing help, but it was almost like she was also holding up the line. But I got the feeling like she was doing it intentionally at the same time. And at that point in time, it was almost like a manager, you know, how sometimes the lines get backed up. But the funny thing about that was it was really empty because it was only like three people in the line along with the lady who was holding up the line. And then the person who normally stands by the self-checkout, you know, just to make sure everything is flowing okay. So it was almost as if they had to turn on their light, but he didn't have a light over there because the lady was needing some sort of assistance. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but anyway, um so with that being said the manager kind of came over and kind of pulled me to the side was like i can help you over here so he was helping me over there but then something went wrong with his register and it started kind of malfunctioning a little bit and then so he went to like another register but it wasn't like the regular size registers that they normally have you know the aisles and the lines so he went over to another register and he tried to do it over there as well too and i noticed he was still having an issue so keep that in mind and i'm only just saying what it was that i saw so keep that in mind that obviously something is gonna go down that's pertaining to the grocery stores in some sort of way what exactly it is i don't know or how it's gonna come i don't know unless divine spirit light gives it to me but this is the only information that i have right now and i can't tell you regions and i can't tell you locations is what i'm hearing because um, i know last time i did a video on food shortages and uh actually that video didn't get any views not that it matters but you know had some people watch those videos you know they would have gotten a warning ahead of time so but again what i'm hearing is keep in mind that it could be a chain of stores or it could be only in a specific region that this may be happening so keep that in his mind too so um but anyway but the key point was the store was very empty as if as if there was only a few people. I didn't get that there wasn't any food on the shelf. I just kind of got the fact that it was just empty. Like everybody wasn't at the store like they normally would be is what I'm hearing. Like a selective few of people were at the store. Yeah, like a selective few of people was at the store. Anyway, so keep that in mind too. That's something to be mindful of. That's something to watch out for. Something to pay attention to as well. Um... Yes, so but anyway, that is all for those messages. But with that being said, I already pre shuffled these cards because I was actually in the middle of re recording um, the video, but I had to stop it in the middle. Uh, I had to stop it in the middle and re record it again. Uh, so, yes, but anyway, with all that being said, 
let's get right into the message anyway so as i told you guys before i'm not a tarot card reader i just pull these cards as inspiration i guess to you know ask the divine spirit of light what message does he have that goes along either with the story or just what message that you need to hear just in general for the day period okay Uh, here we go. So healthy giving. This was the first one. It was healthy giving. It says today I will practice healthy giving, understanding that caretaking and impulsive giving don't work. I choose what I want to give to whom, when, and how much it takes time to learn how to give in a healthy way. It takes time to learn to receive balance. It takes time. I'm sorry. It takes time to learn to receive balance will come so keep that in mind too i know some of you guys are probably learning how to give in a healthy way because you've been given in an unhealthy way for so long and i too had to learn this at one point in time too um to the point that i feel like if people don't you know respect me enough and you know my time as well as my attention well you know what i just take it right on back and keep it for myself you know but or appreciate me should i say but um yeah so keep that in mind too and then i have another one it says confidence divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of the ego you make space for something larger to take hold please fill me with your confidence oh love grant me courage i never knew i had and then this last one is Loving yourself unconditionally. Loving yourself unconditionally. Today I will work at loving myself unconditionally. God, please help me to let go of self-loathing and other unproductive behaviors. Today, God, I want to hold myself high in high self-esteem. I know I can do, I'm sorry. I know I can do so with your help. So if some of you guys need to hear that message today, um boom there it is um i hope that was inspirational and i keep in mind and just remember what i said in regards to the grocery stores i think that's more important i'm not saying the other one wasn't important but you know just keep that in mind too because you know food is our source of energy uh to help uh, keep us going as well too so anyway <coughs> excuse me y'all so until the next prophetic message i wish you all much love i wish you all much light and peace and blessings namaste bye